1952 is so forthright. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Marion's forthright, not just for 1952, but for now. You know, for now, like, yes. For now, it's like timelessly self-assured in a way. Um, um, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah, like totally. I mean, I think, I mean, yeah, for, for the 1950s, she does totally defy social convention. But I think in the fact that, she, in the way that she's, um, you know, she proposes to her boyfriend and she walks and her. into her fiancé's place of work and even and and demands to see the boss and I I, I think that's pretty that's pretty forthright. Right? I wouldn't do it but yeah. kudos to her for having the courage yeah. and the passion to do it. Yeah and I don't know if it's even just about courage but she has such a strong sense of instinct that it's like yes. what if it feels right. I hear what everyone's saying. You don't know what you're doing. Excuse me? Maybe Maybe it's because you're not from here. You don't know what it's like out there. What the hell would you know what it's like out there, miss? Hmm? Please just call them back. What do you think it's gonna be like being married to a Coast Guard man? Please just call them back. You gonna come in here scared every time he out in the water? Please call them back. You don't belong here. Please call them back. Get out of here! Get out of my station and go home to where you belong, miss. Please call them back. Get out of my station! Now, I realize that you nobody saw the effects making the film, but and yeah. you, but you must have had some sort of idea in mind about what it would look like. No. <laughs> so what did you think when you yeah, saw it? Amazing. I love, I, especially, I think, because it feels so, like, it feels and looks like an old movie. And Doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, because it begins with the kind of the diner and the dance scenes, and so it really sets up that kind of 1950s feel. And so when then it comes to the effects, I just think there's so much more of a like suspension of disbelief when you kind of it's like I mean I believed it. <laughs> well, I felt I cold and wet. I know, and, <laughs> and it's kind of you believe the unbelievable because this story yeah. is. I mean, it, it was sort of close to a miracle, really, saving so yeah. many men in such such horrendous conditions. And also that when you see the movie and you see the effects of like, the boat literally going through the waves, you can't believe that that's physically possible, but that happens, and that's what... And time after time. Yeah, yeah. And that's what, I mean, it's, yeah. I, you know, and I just can't imagine what the families of these brave men and today I guess women mm -hmm. how they must feel and of course your character is the symbol of that yeah and it's it's I mean I would feel not knowing myself not knowing ex the exact dangers that the Coast Guard go through every day I would feel like if you're like if, it, if, you, if your family's in the Coast Guard maybe don't watch this no. <laughs> because it makes you feel, oh right yeah this is that what is he's what, doing and not telling yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, anyway. it's like being a spy you can't say anything. yeah 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 it's sort of like um and i think i think well for miriam in this i think that's her journey is going from ignorance about the the coast guard profession and exactly what her uh, fiance has to go through to learning about it and getting that fear and then having to overcome that fear and uh, and realize that it's it's his job and this is um, that's you tough know, it's, he's got a very important role to play yeah uh, in, in the world and in other people's lives so. tell me about um, the costuming and I'm thinking of, of the coat and some yeah. of the dresses how does that like seal the deal for you in a performance yeah I mean you do kind of you totally feel different when you're in in a different costumes, but that uh, I think it becomes almost like a conduit into your character. You sort of, <laughs> I mean, like you, you kind of psychologically you, you were you're in in character, but then every day it's like it's sort of like a putting on the mask and taking it off, so it's like easier to sort of like come in and out. Um, wow. Um, but um, uh, uh, I guess for me as well, there's. So I've, I just love the authenticity of these costumes. Um, a lot of them are, were, uh, 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 I think they're all like sourced originally. Well, the fabrics they're certainly all looked from from the period. I think, um, <sighs> and I definitely. My mum has pictures of my nana at the time wearing. Uh, unfortunately, you never actually see it because it's under that big fur coat. But like the first day outfit, 
high-waisted jeans with turn-ups and the socks and the sandals with the little... I said, my mum has pictures of my oh, nan wearing that. And, and, <laughs> and it's just like, it's just, it's, you know, it's just like straight, straight out of the 1950s. Oh, that is photograph. very cool. Yeah. Very cool. It must be such a such a wonderful sort of artistic thing for you to experience and wear and yeah. appreciate and look at. Now, you have really done so much work for being so young, and I'm wondering what it is. It's a difficult business. What keeps you, you engaged and going forward? Um, I, I quite, I mean, I just think that you learn something new on every single job. There's not, there's not, there's, it's, I just love working with, inspiring people and so and and for me I feel like I've been very lucky in getting to kind of explore different periods and different time frames yes and so it's like every every job is not just a, a different uh, character it's a whole different era <laughs> you've yeah. been doing for the last few years which I mean it, there's just like a breadth of research all the time and so you can never uh, there's always something to look forward to something to learn Thank you so much, Holiday. Thanks.